<laughs> oh my goodness me, that looks amazing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. We're here in Planet Coaster, continuing the campaign series, and uh, it looks like a giant golem has completely taken over this little park. <laughs> it's kind of huge and ridiculous and awesome. Look at his eyes, even glowing red. Oh man, it's like a movie. That's so cool. It's amazing. So, yeah, my last episode, Cantation to it, if you want to check it out, we completed the previous thing, and I've taken a look at some scenarios, and this one here is the next one I want to tackle, because the objectives for it, honestly, seem pretty good and open-ended. Some of them were kind of boring, uh, like hire two security guards and pick up all the litter, and I don't want to make a sh series about those challenges. I want to make it about achieving the ultimate park value and build awesome coasters and just keeping the series interesting. So if that's good, if you appreciate that, drop a like on it. Uh, this one's actually really awesome because it's got a bit of a space theme. I actually really like the attention to detail here. These kind of, I can only describe them as hovering puppies. Literally look like, I mean, <laughs> what? I don't even know how they did that. It's kind of insane. And the uh, spaceship here with the food trucks and the little robot. It's so cool. Anyway, so I thought this was like a really awesome map and I definitely wanted to do it. So let's uh, let's make a start, shall we? Let's uh, let's do some stuff. Also, I think we're safe and I'm pretty sure the golem won't kill us. <laughs> I know what I just said, but I mean, look at this. I can't allow this to be a thing. It's terrible. Here we go. So I'm going to get this worker here and I'm going to do this ahead of me having to do it later on. So I'm going to give him a pay rise and then as soon as I can, I'm going to give him a bit of a training to make him, you know, more effective as an employee. That's what we want. Uh, one cool thing that this park already has, as you can see, is this kind of monorail. Again, looks very futuristic, very Star Wars. Uh, it's a free ride and it goes throughout the park. Man, even lasers. Oh, so cool. Anyway, you go through here, then there's a little park area, I suppose you could say, in this section right here, which is kind of cool. And then you've got another monorail section to this little plateau, if you like, over here. Uh, we've got another one on here, which is interesting. Oh, wow, like super cannons. Like, how did they do this? I genuinely have no idea how this was. It's so impressive. Um, so yeah, you kind of have an area. We don't, as you can see, there's like this dash line. So we can't go too far out. It's kind of a small map, honestly, but I kind of like that challenge. And then we've got obviously here where the entrance is. So yeah, and obviously we've got the middle as well if we want to do stuff in this area. Okay, so money-wise, we've got $7,000. Okay, and we're losing a monthly profit of around... 500 is there a cost to come into the park at the moment coming into the park is free okay so that means we can charge lots of money for rides which i am a okay with i'm gonna keep the monorail free just purely because i don't want people to not go to the different areas of the park uh so hopefully that will help with that but yeah let's put in we need a ride obviously so let's put in something that we know is always successful. This one, this little kind of, um, oh man, the theming doesn't really work. Maybe I could change the colors and stuff. Uh, but let's put it over here. There we go, over in this corner. By the way, a lot of you ask me <laughs> about my controls and can you, Ollie, can you make a controls tutorial video for Planet Coaster? Um, I can't, the only thing I will tell you to do is press T as soon as you go into the game. That gives me this kind of free cam thing, and I think that's what a lot of people are asking for. By default, it's in this kind of mode, and I just can't play like this. Like, it's too confusing, so I always need it to... I need to be able to, like, pivot and stuff. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but um, that's, that's, that's my jam. That's what I like. Okay, I'm going to try and go for some similar colors here. I don't know. It's so confusing. Right, let me... Maybe it's my, a bit darker than that. There you go. That's kind of accurate. I, it, like I said, it's kind of difficult. And then this one it needs to be like an orangey color. Uh, is that... That's a bit more accurate. There we go. That fits in a little bit better. 
Nice. That go it kind of goes with the aesthetic, and then with the black metal as well. Yeah, I can get behind that. All right, so let's place an entrance. Let's do it here. And the exit I want on this side here. Um, I love, by the way, I love, 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 love this path design. I think it looks awesome. It's kind of this black tarmac with a orange trim. Kind of looks cool. Look at it. It's nice. Very futuristic. It works well. And for the entrance, actually, what have we got here? So, yeah, it's this one. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to try and keep this really smart, actually. And one thing you guys always nag me about is, Ollie, we want to actually see you build stuff. Um, so, I'm going to try and do that today. And, <laughs> like, hopefully try and not edit too much out of it. I'm going to change the color of... Hey, that's cool. She's kind of matching as well. Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've done that. Uh, I'm going to open it up. Boom. How much is it? It's $13 to go on. Woohoo, confetti. And this is exciting because I've never really looked too much at the space theme stuff. So I'm just going to type in space. And we've got some spaceship filter. Is there actually a property theory sci-fi? Okay, so I'll remove that. So now we've got like... Hundreds and hundreds of scenery things that I've never really used before To take a look at which is kind of cool. So let's put one of these things in little Thing there Man, It's kind of cool kind of works kind of looks like that was meant to be what's this? Oh, there's the cannon <laughs> That's so good I've never like I said I've never really seen all this stuff that kind of looks like it goes together um, Is this a bench? Oh my god, sci-fi benches? Yes! A sci-fi theme park, I love it. Ah, I just read what they're called. It's actually, these things are called mutts. <laughs> That's so cool. Mutt body, mutt head. Wow. That's so good. I love it. Honestly, really, really cool. I'm a bit sad that I've never checked this out before, but... Also, it's kind of nice to have something fresh, you know, and what else can we do? Small decal light. Okay, so I've done a bit more playing and the queue is already full, which is hilarious. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can, can I change the thing? Like it's kind of, it does too much right now. So let me just pause it, close it, um, low pause. Bounce, free fall, bungee. Uh, I just want the bun free fall and bungee. So it's going to annoy a lot of customers, but I we need the quick turnaround. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need the turnaround. So it might change the ratings a little bit. So we've got free fall, which goes woo, and then bungee, which is bound up, down. And I think that's it. All right, open it up. There we go. So hopefully we'll get some more people in and it won't take so long for our customers to actually go on the ride, which is exactly what we want. So hopefully, wait, why are people kind of saying no to it now? It's so expensive. Is it because it's expensive because there's not much to it? All right, let's go $7. Everyone wants to go on up for $7. $7. Everyone's happy with that. That kind of makes sense. There's less of it. Wow, there's just the other thing as well. There's so many people in this park. And new queue goes on. Perfect. Perfect. Whee. Nice. Good stuff. All right. Sweet. I'm happy with that. Let's do another ride. Although we don't have much money, so I do have to be a little bit careful here. Um, what have we got? That's nice and cheap. We need nice and cheap rides here. This one, loop the loop Oh, my God. This looks awful. I kind of don't want to put this in my park. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> um, this is a little bit better. It's not... Uh, it's just not what I want. I could build a giant space-themed building. That might be quite fun. Hmm. We've got this thing. It's kind of interesting. That might be quite fun. Does that fit there? <sighs> it's just these rides are just... They just don't fit the style. You know? That's the problem. All right, I've picked this ride here. It's going to be right by the entrance, but yeah, hell, we haven't got much room. So the one thing I really want to do is color. So let me just do that. 
Okay, so that looks a little bit more in keeping with what we've got going on here. Certainly blends in a little bit. I hate the LED lights. They don't fit. God damn it, you're ruining my vision video game. But like I said, we don't have much money and we just need... Maybe I can delete these later on, but for now, this will be fine and it will do. And that's what we we'll have to go through. Right, so entrance here, I'm going to pop on that side. Exit, I'm literally going to put right here. Um, I'm hoping people don't just come out and leave, but I'm sure they won't, right? Maybe? <laughs> Please? <laughs> don't do that. That would be really bad. Right, so I'm going to put in another one of these. Um, just in a different direction. There we go. Uh, I would love to put some kind of walls around this, like curved walls. Maybe we'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, ooh, radioactive tank. Wow, that looks weird. Um, ooh, that's what we've already used. Radar dish. Okay, so what if I put that on there? I just love it because everything kind of just works together. It kind of just, like, everything works. It's so good. Picnic canopy. Wow, that's so cool. I haven't seen that before. Wow. Everything I'm looking at, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really annoying when people do that. You know when you go to the freaking fireworks and you're stood next to the guy who's like, wow. Wow, look at that. Wow. You're just like, oh, for goodness sake, just please be quiet. That That's me right now, and I'm sorry. Okay, please. I don't want to be that guy. It's just happened. Look, that's so awesome. you love to see it. All right, let's see if we can find a spherical uh, little situation. Wow, I can actually use the large wall section. I mean, this costs a lot of money, but wow, that's so awesome. They let you actually just grab that. That's neat. I love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Um, yeah, building, custom. Uh, let's see if there's the scenery theme, sci-fi. Let's see. There must be some good stuff here, honestly. Uh, not that much, though. Okay. Not a lot. Not a lot. I kind of like these little yellow and black situations. There's no, like, curved wall, unfortunately, by the looks of it. Which would be interesting. Wow, a little terminal. Oh, that's cool. I just love all this stuff. <laughs> Everything's so good. All right, so we do have a metal alloy situation, which we could use. The only problem with it, and it's kind of annoying, it's kind of at the wrong angle. So if I grab, like, look, you can see the problem I've got. The angle's not quite right. So what I might do is stick to what I was going to do before. Oh, I just would really love it if this was just a little bit of a different angle. Like, come on, Planet Coaster, make it easy for me. Oh, dear. <laughs> I started building and I quickly ran out of money. That's not good. This is not good for my... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Right, so I'm going to start bumping up the price here. We need to start charging people full price for this stuff. To be fair, we are running this entire park off one ride, so... You know, maybe that isn't the greatest. What's she saying? I've been in better parks. Well, aren't you just rude? Uh, prices. Okay. Ugh, man, £10 it is. Surely we can get £10 out, people. This is currently doing a test. Maybe once we start doing this, we'll finally get some money out of people. I really just don't know if I can start charging people for using the monorail. I doubt it, but... We'll see. The other thing I've noticed as well, by the way, is that the terrain button is literally disabled. So I can't flatten any of this. I can't change. I can't tweak. I can't... Which is interesting. It's a good challenge, but yeah, that kind of uh, is rather sad. All right. So let's open that up. Excitement 3, Fear 3, Nausea 1. That's a pretty poor ride, but it looks like people still want to go on it. So... Hey, money's money, right? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's put it up to $7. So yeah, it's really good, actually, use of all the scenery together. Um, you know, it's pretty smart, I suppose. Uh, the trick is to kind of get it like this and then kind of put it underground. There you go. So it only looks like a little bit. There we go. Cheeky. All right, there you go. Still paying, still paying. But now we've got two rides making us money. We're on the way. It's doing some great things.
Nobody's going to leave. Oh, some people left. <laughs> no. No. I'm going to put a shop here. So what have we got so far? It looks like we've got Gloopy or Gloppy and the hot dog stand. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's go for like a soda maybe. Okay, so there we go. Um, I think it looks good actually. Just need to adjust this a little bit. This little frame. This isn't finished by the way. I kind of built three frames and didn't get to build any more. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But there we go. Now we've got a little... I think, I just think, I think that looks good. So, Alright, so there we go. I've added in another uh, little shop here. Added the old chief belief. Chief beef. And uh, our drinks. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a double-edge thing there. Lots of shop potential as uh, you come into the park and just before you leave you might pick up a beverage or a little snack on the way back. Uh, so one thing I definitely need to add is some bins here. Because the last thing I want is trash anywhere. It's most annoying. Looking good. Looking good. There's always queues for this stuff but that's okay. <gasps> hmm. You know what I might do? There's a sign there. Give me one second. Oh man, I can't actually put anything on there. That's so annoying. Oh, whoa, what's the point in that? That's so disappointing. Oh, so there we go, guys. I'll leave this here for now. If you guys want to keep watching this, I'll put a playlist link in the description. This is a really exciting new playlist for me. It's, uh, or mini park, if you like. The, the golem. Oh, I think this is cool. So, uh, yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to so don't miss the next episode. And I'll see you then. Hopefully, we'll be making more money. Because at the moment, we're uh, kind of not really making any money at all.